another Chinese developer in trouble. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee. Let's have a look at this article from Yahoo Finance about another Chinese developer in trouble. So, Chinese property developer Kaiser Group says it will not or it has not yet received any notice from bondholders to accelerate repayments after failing to repay a $400 million US offshore bond. The firm said it also did not pay the coupon totaling 105 million for notes due in December, uh, sorry, due in 2023, 2025 and 2026 with the grace period for the first two already expired. The non-payment of the $400 million maturity on December 7 triggered cross-default provisions on all its US $12 billion bonds and prompted a downgrade to restricted default by Fitch ratings. Kaiser is the second largest US dollar bond issuer among China's property developers after Evergrande, which is more than $300 billion in liabilities. The fate of Kaiser... Evergrande and other indebted Chinese property companies has gripped financial markets in recent months amid fears of knock-on effects with Beijing repeatedly seeking to reassure investors. Shares of Kaiser tumbled 8.7% to Hong Kong 84 cents in the earlier session on resumed trading, a record low after its suspension since the 8th of December. Kaiser said it was still in talks with bondholders over a deal restructuring a debt restructuring deal. In its Monday filing, the developer said after significant, a significant decline in sales in October and November, it expects the confidence of potential property purchases to remain subdued in December. So there we go, guys. Another property developer missing out on bond payments. Let's have a bit of a talk about this. We'll have to keep an eye on it to see if it actually will have a flow-through impact to the Australian economy here and, well, how this will impact the investors in these bonds. I don't think it'll be as catastrophic as some people hope. This isn't another GFC that we're going to see, guys. It's just not the same. It's not going to have the same impact. If anything, there may be a a reduced demand for certain exports. That could have an impact on certain industries here in Australia. And sure, that's that's going to be felt. But we're not talking, you know, end of the world GFC Mark II. Guys, check out this video about who the largest bondholders were for Evergrande. Just, just to see how well, how well positioned they are to absorb a bit of a hit. Not everything comes off 100%, so they should be able to handle it. Take care, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.